Hey there, Thunkers! In this tutorial, we're going to walk through how to customize a quiz app. Now, I've noticed that a lot of people are building apps with way too many screens, sometimes 30 to 40 screens, and that's a lot of work and also not the best way to store information. So in this quiz tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use less screens and build apps in a more organized way. So to get started, we're on the quiz screen right now. We're just going to go over to the splash screen. And the splash screen is kind of like a branding screen where you can usually show the name of your app or the name of your company. So if you want to customize this, we're pretty easy. We're just going to click on the label over here and we're going to change this to test quiz. And there you have it, it's customized. Now you can also customize the animation by clicking on the animation component. Right now it's set to this blue car, but maybe you don't like the blue car, so you can just delete that right here. Uh, you can go to LottieFiles.com, which is a free animation library, and you can pick any animation that you want. And all you have to do is click on the little download button, and then over here, when you click on the animation uh, source component file, you can upload that file. So let's just put the blue car back in, and there we go. Your animation will load on the screen. And again, the way this works is, and go to the block section, when the splash screen opens, it's going to wait three seconds, and it's going to go to the quiz screen. And all of these blocks can be found, um, the first one can be found here when Scratch Bean opens, and then the rest are in the control section. Wait, and then navigate to another screen. Let's go to the quiz screen. Um, this is the most important screen in the app. So what's going on in this screen? Well, first, we have this question label. This is where all of your questions are going to be displayed. Next, we have this image component. So if you want an image to go along with your questions, you can upload images here. And you can do that the same way, just by uploading files, and then they will appear as the image. Next, we have four buttons. Each button is going to be an answer. So this is going to populate with different answers that you can use for your questions. And the way that we customized these buttons was we set their width to be 40% of the screen, so they're all the same size. Next we gave them a nice little border. The way to do that is we made the border with three, we set the color to white, and we made the style dotted, but you know you can also choose dashed, and that's what it looks like for a dashed border, or you can make it a different color and pick solid, totally up to you. And a lot of people ask, how do you get circular buttons? Well, for this, pretty simple, we just change the corner radius to 100. If you don't have a corner radius, you'll just get a square button. So we'll go back and change that to 100. And the last thing here is you have a score label. So every time you answer a question, if you answer correctly, it will give you one point out of uh, how many questions there are. And that's going to change. So here's where a lot of people use way too many screens, and you don't have to do that anymore. We have this really awesome component. If you scroll down, it's called a local DB. It's in the data section. And here's what it looks like when you click on it. You get this awesome data table. And here you can enter all of your information. You can enter all of your questions, all of your potential answers. It's also going to keep track of which one of those answers is correct. You can upload your images here, and you can also include a message if you want to say something to the user after they ask a question. And this is super easy to customize. For question one, let's just say you want to say, what's one plus one? Well, right here we have this answer key. This is going to tell you which answer is going to be correct. And you can change this if you want, but we've put it in, in there like this to make it easier for you. So the correct answer is going to be in answer number one. So what's one plus one? Two. And then we can just make up a bunch of different answers for the rest of the questions. And if you want to add a second question, which we can just do over here, I'm just going to put in uh, three plus three. And let's consult the answer key. We've got two is the right answer. So for two, we're going to put six. For one, you can put cat or uh, tennis ball, you know, what, whatever you want. You can make up questions. You can put the color red. Um, but the correct answer is going to be number two, six. We also have the option to add images. And the way, again, you would do that is if you click on image here and you upload any image that you want, and then all you need to do is copy and paste the name, the exact name of the file, and then just paste it into the image category. That way, when your question comes up, it's going to be linked to a specific image. The last thing that you can do to customize this screen 
is you can say what type of animation the user sees after they answer a question. So I'll show you how to do that really quickly in the block section. I know the blocks look like there's a lot going on, and in another video, I'm gonna explain how to set all of these up and what each one does. But if you're just interested in making a, a quick quiz, then let me show you how to customize this. If you go over to these blocks, these blocks tell the app what to do when an answer is correct. Um, and the things you can customize are right over here. You're going to display a message to the user when they get the question right. Right now, that answer is just gonna say correct. You can change it to say anything that you want. Um, you also have this option of showing a custom animation when the user answers something correctly, and you can change that to a success animation, and then you're gonna have the same options in the wrong answer. So when the user answers incorrectly, you can change this message right here. You can also change whatever animation that they're shown. There is an ending screen that you'll go to when the quiz is over. It's just gonna tell you your score and it's gonna show you another animation again. If you want to customize this animation, it's pretty simple. You just click on the animation component on the screen and you can add, you know, I found this tongue emoji animation or I don't know, maybe this check mark animation, whatever you want. There are tons of, again, free animations in the Lottie Files library. And that's how you customize your own quiz app. Again, there's going to be a detailed walkthrough for the block section, but I hope you enjoy and thanks for thunking.